Here's another reason why I believe that there is something greater. I cannot believe that I have never told you guys my ladybug story. Look, I'm obsessed with ladybugs. Jeff, can you see this? And I mean, I don't know if you guys can see this, but my house is covered in ladybugs. Clearly, I drink from everything ladybug. Ladybug, I mean, you guys gotta hear this. And I have pictures to prove the craziness. So let's get started. 10 years ago, I was going through a really hard time. I had just moved to Los Angeles from Baltimore, Maryland, where I was living with someone in a very serious relationship. We thought we were going to get married, yada, yada, yada. That didn't work out and I moved to California. I was having a very hard time to say the least. <laughs> in this time or during this time, I was really seeking, I mean, any kind of answers. Where is my life going? Why did this relationship end? Why am I not getting married? What am I going to do now? Why is this happening? So I was seeking answers to this. And during this time, I was going to all different types of churches and seminars, doing meditations and prayers and journaling. I mean, you name it, I was doing it because I just wanted comfort, number one. And number two, I wanted to know that I was okay and someone was guiding me. Something There was a greater purpose to all of this pain, right? So in this seeking, I met someone casually who said, they knew, they knew I was in, into meditation. So they said, you know what? You need to try this guided meditation where you find your higher self. Now, granted, I wasn't really into that. I didn't even really know what higher self meant, what that even meant. But at the time I was so desperate, I was kind of like, sure, yeah, whatever, I'll do anything. <laughs> Plus I had been meditating for a while now. So any kind of new meditation I thought was cool. I'm sitting down one day to do my regular meditation. I thought, well, I'm going to do this guided meditation this friend of mine told me to do. And in this guided meditation, this voice is telling you to go meet your higher self and ask your higher self questions. So as I'm meditating, I'm kind of skeptical and a little snarky when I'm like meeting my higher self and asking my higher self to, in my opinion, silly questions. Because one of the questions was, what's your favorite insect? And I thought when I was in this meditation, like, why would I care what my higher self's favorite insect is? And what's the point of all this? Needless to say, my higher self said ladybug. I also was a little scoffed at that and thought, you said ladybug because that's the only thing you can think of, Julie. That's the only kind of insect you can think of right now. This isn't your higher self, this is your own brain telling you ladybug. So by the end of the 45 minute um, meditation, I was a little annoyed because I didn't feel like it did anything. I didn't really feel like I met my higher self. And I kind of went on without my day and thought that was a waste of time. I won't do that again. So then my day went on and the next day I was at the beach and I was going to start my meditation practice again. While I was meditating again on the beach, something in my brain said, remember that meditation yesterday and how they said to meet your higher self again? the next day. And I thought to myself, well, I'm not going to do that because I, I don't even think I met my higher self. What it like, quit thinking so much, Julie, you're supposed to be meditating. <laughs> and as I thought that on the beach by myself, I suddenly felt things hitting me and things crawling on me, like multiple things, which freaked me out obviously, because you don't want creepy crawly things crawling on you. So I opened my eyes, right? And what do I see? crawling all over me on the beach. And I don't mean one or two, I mean like covered ladybugs. Ladybugs were crawling on me all over the beach, in my hair, hitting me in the face, all over my shirt, all over my arms. In that moment, because when I was so surprised, um, something came over me, like this feeling of presence, really. It was just like this, everything expanded. The world expanded, my eyes expanded, the moment expanded, and I felt this deep connection to something greater, whether that was my higher self or God or higher power, whatever you want to call it, source. All I know is in that moment, I felt divinely guided and like I was actually getting answers finally. <laughs> and I just felt completely cared for. I started crying. I didn't make the bugs get off of me <laughs> despite them curling on me. And I, in that moment, I just felt like I am divinely guided. I am divinely cared for. Someone, something is hearing my pain. And uh, for a moment, it all went away in a good way. It all felt like I knew everything was going to be okay. And I knew I was in the right spot. 
I knew I made the right choice to come to California and to leave this relationship, which was so painful to leave, all because of this, what I would call like silly meditation that I didn't even believe in. I didn't even believe it. If anything, it was annoying to me, but it just felt like a lot of validation. And in that moment, I was like forever changed by ladybugs. And I still am to this day. I still see ladybugs during really dark times. I'll look over and ladybugs will be not where they should be, randomly in my house. Or I'll open a gift and it's like ladybug earrings randomly from my best friend who mailed me earrings. And I've never forgotten that moment and it still holds near and dear to my heart. So I know this has nothing to do with hospice, but I do feel like end of life and facing our own mortality and facing the hardships of life, it's good to hear stories like these. Stories that for me have changed my life and maybe hopefully through you listening to me, it can give you some inspiration um, and some comfort knowing that um, this could be for all of us. So let me know in the comments, have you experienced anything like this? Do you see things like dragonflies or butterflies and think that's your loved one who has died or that's a symbol for you that you are being guided and cared for? Let me know, I wanna hear from you.